Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another edition of the In The Ring Show with your host, Devious Damien. Now, before I get into the topic of this video, I want to say yes, I know I haven't been doing reviews much. I'm kind of slowing down on doing reviews simply due to the fact that a lot of people do reviews, and I feel me doing reviews with the, quite frankly, probably hundreds of other wrestling YouTube, you know, wrestling bloggers or vloggers, whatever you want to call them that, are on YouTube. Also doing reviews, I feel it's kind of redundant. You hear the same thing pretty much. So, I, that's why I don't do reviews much. On to other things now. On to the topic. Here are my five reasons that Damian Sandow absolutely sucks. Number five, his entrance music. Okay, I know he's supposed to be like this guru of enlightenment or whatever the fuck, some kind of enlightenment thing, whatever. But that thing, hallelujah, it's like, what? Okay. If you give him something better than that, for fuck's sake, come on. He said, I swear to God, it sounds like, you want to know what his theme music sounds like? It sounds like somebody went to a church choir, taped the choir singing, and then they used that for his theme music. Just saying. Number four, he's boring. Blah, 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 blah. You're welcome. Okay. Does that, you know, and you come out with a stupid looking, stupid looking fucking bathrobe or something. I mean, Jesus Christ. Basically, you, he looks, he comes out looking like a glorified bathrobe you could probably get at Target or Walmart or something. For like ten bucks. Something similar to it anyway. And that's what it looks like he comes out in. And then he has this monotone speech and this... I don't know, he just bores me and he makes me want to change the channel. When I see Damien Sandow, I want to go, wonder what else is on. Click. Reason number three. What? Don't understand him. He comes out and he uses these words and quite frankly, I don't know if the fans boo him because, you know, he's a pompous ass or the fact that they just want him to go the fuck away, so you know, until he actually learns how to speak on a level that, you know, the majority of wrestling fans can understand. I mean, he comes out and he's like, he just uses these words and I, you know, I'm scratching my head. I'm like, I don't know if he's insulting me or complimenting me. I can't really tell. You know, it's like, you know, if you're going to say something, make it so people know what the fuck you're talking about. Just saying. Number two, his finisher. That stupid fucking neck breaker he does for a finisher. Okay. And the only reason I'm complaining about the neck breaker thing he does for a finisher is how many guys have used that, a move very similar to that, as just another move in their arsenal. Road Warrior Hawk. Uh, let's see. I think even Triple H has used it. Uh, you know, and countless others. It's not even their finisher. It's just like another move in their arsenal. Yeah, I'm supposed to believe that Damian Sandow, when he does it, it's supposed to be some kind of finisher when Road Warrior Hawk did almost the same fucking thing and he's bigger and stronger than Damian Sandow, yet it wasn't his finisher. Um, bullshit. I don't buy it and neither should you. Reason number one that Damian Sandow absolutely, positively, why well, yeah, beyond a shadow of a doubt, fucking sucks. This man has got an identity crisis going on. He comes out like he's leaping Lanny Poffo or the genius, as he was called in 1990 WWF. You know, reciting the whole thing like leaping Lanny Poffo did with his fucking poetry and shit. You know, but, un but unlike Damian Sandow, you know, the genius was actually good at it. You know, and the, and the other part, and here's the reason I call my the identity crisis. He, he talks like the genius, but he dresses like Adrian fucking Adonis. The pink tights, the purple knee pads. 
Come on. Make up your fucking mind, Sandow. Are you the are you the genius or are you, you know, Adrian Adonis? Which are you? And for fuck's sake. And I know some of you are gonna call me out and say, and you're gonna say, well, a lot of people steal from other people's past gimmicks. Okay, maybe that's true. But I know some people in the wrestling business, and here's their theory about when you steal a gimmick. They say if you're going to steal someone's gimmick, then god damn it, you better do it better than the person before you did it. And does Damian Sandow do his little thing better than Lanny Poffo or Adrian Adonis? Not even close. I'm sorry. You know, Damian Sandow looks like he he walked out of some like gay rich party and entered the WWE. And, like I said, he he looks like what would have happened if Lanny Poffa and Adrian Adonis had a love child. Just saying, he does. That's what he looks like. So what are your opinions about Damien Sandow? You know, and the, I, before, before I end the video, I gotta say, what prompted this video is I saw something on Bleacher Report. And they said reasons why Damien Sandow should win Money in the Bank. Are you... What? I swear to God, if Damien Sandow wins Money in the Bank, it'll be very hard for me not to pick up the hardest object I can reach and throw it through the TV screen. Because that's how much it would piss me off. I'm sorry, but this Damien Sandow fucking sucks. You know, he needs to work, he needs to fucking get rid of his identity crisis, first of all. And all the other shit he's got going on. But what are your opinions about Damien Sandow? Let me know what you think. Subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. For this edition of the In the Ring Show, this is Devious Damien signing out.